Okay, so today we're going to talk about solving equations. So many of you may want to know what exactly an equation is. So an equation is just something with an equal sign. Um, it has two halves. They're separated at the equal sign. So we have a left-hand side and we have a right-hand side. And with an equation, the left side is equal to the right side. And your job is to figure out what can I plug in for x to make the left and the right side equal. And for small equations, something like x plus 3 equals 5, um, if I just told you what can I add to 3 to get 5, a lot of you would be able to tell me 2 because 3 plus 2 is 5. Um, so a lot of times you can just look at one-step equations and figure out what the answer is. But today we're going to learn proper procedure for solving an equation because when you get to more difficult problems like this, you won't just be able to look at it and figure out what the answer is. So we want to learn the steps to solving an equation. So to solve an equation, um, you want to get this x right here all by itself. So X is a very selfish little being and he likes to be on his side of the equal sign all by himself. That means nothing can be added or subtracted or multiplied or divided with that X. It just wants to be X all by himself. X equals some number. So to do that, we're gonna take our equation and we're gonna move everything away from this X. That means we wanna move this three to the opposite side. We want to move it off the left-hand side and put it on the right side. So to solve an equation, um, we have to use inverse operations or opposites. So opposites um, would be like addition and subtraction. They undo each other or multiplication and division. Um, and when I say opposites, like the opposite of a positive three is a negative three because three minus three is zero. Um, the opposite of a negative five would be a positive five because negative five plus five is zero. Uh, they undo each other. Uh, same thing with multiplication and division. So addition and subtraction are inverses. Multiplication and division are inverses. So if we want to get rid of this positive three up here, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to subtract three so that those threes can zero out, so that they'll cancel out. Um, what you have to remember, though, is your equation um, is like a balance beam. So it has to be exactly equal on both sides. So if you do something on the left side, you have to do the same exact thing on the right side. So if we subtract three on the left, we're going to subtract three on the right hand side as well. Now here, 3 minus 3 is 0, so they're a 0 pair. They cancel out. They're not there anymore because they added to 0. So all that's left on the left side is x. Bring down that equal sign and subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. So x equals 2 is our answer. And you can always check that. You can come out to the side and check uh, by plugging in that number for x. So if we plugged in that 2 for x, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 does equal 5, so it checks, so we know we worked it correctly. All right, next, let's try this one in black. x minus 7 equals 2. So remember, we want to get x by itself on the left-hand side over here. We have two sides of our equation. You can draw a line through that equation so that you can see the left side and the right side. Um, and we want to get rid of this minus 7. So the opposite of a minus sign is a plus sign. So we're going to add 7. And if we add 7 on the left-hand side, we have to add 7 on the right-hand side. You have to do the same thing on both sides of that equal sign. And then simplify. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. So they're a 0 pair. So if they add to 0, they're not there anymore. They cancel out. Bring down your x, bring down that equal sign, and add the right side together. 2 plus 7 is 9. And you're done. All right, when we come over here to 
similar to our problem in red, uh, we notice something a little different here. There's not a plus sign and there's not a minus sign. In fact, we don't see any sign at all. So when you see a variable and a number side by side with no sign in between them, that means they're being multiplied. So this really means three times X and you can put a little times dot in between them if it helps you. So the opposite of multiplication, to undo this little multiplication going on between three and the X, we do the opposite. Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're gonna take this three that's being multiplied and we're gonna divide by three on both sides of our equal sign. And then here, three divided by three is one. So I have one X equals six divided by three, which is two. Um, when you divide, three divided by three is one. So you can write the one X if you want to, but you don't have to. It's just understood to be there. Um, so it's just the threes, when you have multiplication and division, they divide to one, and you're just left with that plain X. So X equals two, and that's our answer. All right. Uh, next, this one probably looks a little weird. Um, it has a yes fraction. Well, when you say a fraction, a fraction bar means division. So we have x divided by 2 equals 8. And we want to get x all by itself. So to undo this division, we're going to use multiplication. So this 2 on the bottom is being divided. So that's what we're going to multiply by on both sides. You multiply by whatever you're trying to get rid of. So that 2 that's being divided, we multiplied on both sides to get rid of it. Because what we see here is we see the 2 that's being multiplied, and it's being divided by 2. Well, same thing up here when we have 3 divided by 3. Anything divided by itself is 1, so it divides to 1, it cancels out. Same thing here, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so they divide to 1, they cancel out, we're just left with 1x equals 8 times 2, which is 16. Alright, next we're going to move into something that's also a little different. This is a two-step equation. So, it's called a two-step equation because it takes two steps to solve it. So when you see something like this, you see an expression on the left-hand side, and it's just equal to some number on the right-hand side. What we want to do is ignore the variable at the beginning. You want to focus on doing all addition and subtraction first, and then we'll multiply or divide as our very last step. So ignore the 3x, and we're just going to focus on this positive 5. So to get rid of a plus 5, we subtract 5. We do the opposite on both sides and then we simplify so 5 minus 5 is 0 there is 0 pair they cancel out we bring down the 3x bring down your equal sign and subtract 11 minus 5 is 6. now this is a new thing we learned a couple slides ago this 3 and this x they are being multiplied so the opposite of multiplication is division so we're going to divide by the three, because that's what we want to get rid of. So divide by three on both sides. Three divided by three is one. So they divide to one and cancel out, and we're left with that one X equals six divided by three is two. So X equals two is our final answer. All right, moving on to something that is even still, um, a little more difficult. So here's our equal sign. We have all of this on the left-hand side, and we just have this plain 17 on the right-hand side. Um, what we notice on the left-hand side, though, is that we've got some terms that we could probably combine together. We see this 2x, and we have this positive 3x right here. So before you start solving your equation, you look for like terms on the same side of the equation. Look for things that you can combine together to make that problem easier to work. So here, 2x plus 3x is 5x. Let's bring down that 7. We haven't done anything with it yet. And this all equals 17. So now, 
we're back to a two-step equation like we worked on the last slide. So as before, you ignore that 5x and you work with all addition and subtraction first. So we're focusing on this positive 7. So the opposite of a plus 7 is a minus 7. So we're going to subtract 7. And remember, this equation is like a balance beam. So if you do something on the left side, you have to do the same thing on the right side. Now 7 minus 7 is 0. They're a 0 pair, so they cancel out. They add to 0. We're left with 5x. Bring down your equal sign and subtract. 17 minus 7 is 10. All right, and now we have 5 times x equals 10. So we want to get rid of that 5 next. Um, since it's being multiplied, we're going to use division. So we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So they divide to 1, and you're left with 1x equals 10 divided by 5 is 2. And this is our answer, x equals 2. All right, last problem we're going to work today is one with variables on both sides. So as you can see, on the left side, we have a variable. And on the right side, we have a variable. Now, it doesn't really matter what you start with first. Um, just in my experience, people tend to find it easier when they move the variables first and get those variables on the same side first. So remember, x is very selfish, and he likes to be by himself on one side of an equation. So what we want to do is we want to get our x's on the same side of the equation so we can move all of those numbers to the other side. So we've got a 3x on the left side and a 5x on the right side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 3x to the right side of my equation. And to do that, I'm going to do the opposite. Well, the opposite of a positive 3 is a negative 3. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. And remember, you can only subtract from its like term, just like we did in the last video. So 3x minus 3x is 0. They're a 0 pair. Bring down the 8. Bring down the equal sign. 5x minus 3x is 2x. And bring down the 4. Now this is a two-step equation. So we just want to get that x by itself. So ignore the 2x for the time being and focus on the 4. We're going to subtract 4 on both sides. That's a zero pair. And we're left with 2x equals 8 minus 4 is 4. Now remember this 2 is being multiplied with the x. So to undo multiplication, we use division. So we divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we're left with 1x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x equals 2 is our answer. And that is how you solve all different types of equations.